Okay, 2011 Jeep Compass. Customer complaint is battery light keeps coming on and off. They went through three alternators, yet the same problem. The history of the vehicle is, according to them, engine was replaced after that, that, that started to happen. Uh, so scan the car for the codes. Under PCM, talking about charging system, output high, and let's go see. ABS talking about low voltage, at the same time talking about high voltage. SRS low voltage and I believe radio control yep radio control saying low low voltage uh, so th this is the codes we got so far and uh, if you look at the charging voltage right now it's at 14 acceptable uh, alternator it's buried there all the way there uh, you can see Let's see, I don't want to put my fingers there, but you can see where my fingers pointing. That's the alternator. That's the third alternator. Same issue. So looking at the wiring the schematic, this is our starter, this is our alternator. So we got sense and gen field control wire coming to, to from alternator to, to PCM. So since they're not talking about these two control circuits, so we're not gonna worry about that. Let's focus on this right here. What is happening? So we have to take the air cleaner box out. And uh, let's do a voltage drop test on the, let's see. Let's see, this is connector. Okay, so let's do a voltage drop on the on that connector S173. I believe that goes to a starter, which it is. So let's uh, let's uh, hook up our voltmeter there, and uh, the other side of the lead is going to be battery positive, and so battery positive is going to be one red lead is going to be on a battery positive positive, and the second lead is going to be on this connector right there. So we're doing a voltage drop should have close to zero voltage if it's working correctly so that's where the starter is and that's where the connector that I was talking about so let's see if you can uh, so one of the leaders in positive and uh, the other one I'm gonna touch over there Okay. Let's see what we get. So voltage is jumping all over. There, that's a voltage drop right there. Almost two volts, and that's definitely will cause that uh, battery light to come on. And you can hear the uh, engine surging too. So here's what I found. Loop connection right there. If you, I'm, I'm not sure if my camera is going to pick it up or not, but yes. It, that's a loose connection right there. Definitely this is it. Loss of two volts. Very important to do a, a voltage drop. So we'll, uh, we'll see if that stud is good or not. If not, then uh, I'll have to stop and replace the starter clean out the connectors and uh, that should be it so quick and dirty and uh, good to go uh, I was hoping to get my scope over here or at least voltmeter over here see what they look like but I don't have my scope with me today uh, so yeah simple tools you needed and understanding of course voltmeter and just do basic voltage drop test and all that stuff so I'll have them uh, replace the starter if the set is not good. And uh, yeah, if there's a follow-up, I'll uh, just write it down in the description. Hope you guys like it.